everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to my channel. Sherry here, AKA Diamond Art Addiction. Yeah, you're getting another worded intro because we're gonna do a little bit of a different intro than I normally do. Usually I get a funny voice or I do wording, but today is Time Out Thursday. And boy, do I have some things I wanna chat about. But first, I wanna congratulate the winners of my very first YouTube giveaway. So I'm gonna show you guys a little bit of a montage that I created to show everybody in case they don't know who won. I had so much fun getting to know each and every one of you over this giveaway over the past two weeks. It's uh, meant a lot to me along with this journey. And that's something we're gonna talk about today. So definitely, get your current diamond painting project or cross stitch project that you're working on and let's chat because today we're going to be talking about facing self-doubt and conquering fear in our time out Thursday but before we get into that I'm gonna I want you guys to just see this little bit of a montage I created for my winners congratulations you guys make sure that you email me by Saturday I'm still waiting for one person to contact me, but I'm pretty sure she's going to. So I will chat with you all in a few minutes. Congratulations again. See you in a few. forgot to say this. If you're not already subscribed to my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button if you want to join our little Vibe Tribe family over here. And if you like today's video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. It just lets me know I'm on the right path for creating content for you all. Don't forget to hit that notification bell too. You don't want to, don't want to miss videos, right? <laughs> so hit that notification bell so you know when my videos upload because I do upload daily. Okay, let's get into today's video. Be prepared. It's a long one. Love you guys. Hey, hey, we're back. And now you're not getting to see me ugly mug. No, <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, I, you know what? I like to poke fun at myself, so leave me alone. <laughs> so welcome to Time Out Thursday one of the videos where I just sit down and we chat. And what Time Out Thursday is, is where basically every once in a while, you know what, even as adults, we need a time out. We need time outs. Just like we give our children when they're young, we call them time outs. When they're older, we call it grounding. And again, nowadays, Telling your kids they're grounded and having to stay home don't matter because all they do is socialize on their electronics anyway in their home anyway. So if anyone has suggestions on how to discipline teenagers that stay at home and never leave anyway, please comment down below. <laughs> We're not going to get into the subject of teenagers today. My baby, my youngest little guy, turned 13 today. So... Happy birthday to my wonderful and amazing son, Carson. He was the best surprise I ever got. And maybe tomorrow we'll talk about Carson a little bit. But today we're here for Time Out Thursday and it's called, you know, what I want to talk about is facing self-doubt and conquering fear. And the reason why I'm filming this actually on Thursday morning and not Wednesday night, because I usually film the day before my videos go up. It was quite an interesting night last night. You know, I had an amazing live, you know, an amazing live. If you didn't catch the live, I will link it somewhere up there where you can see the winners were chosen live. 
And then, I don't know, the, I don't even know where to begin, you know, without keeping the squirrels, squirrel, <laughs> or, you know, rampant at me losing my train of thought because the reason why I'd already planned on talking about self-doubt and all that good stuff today anyway, I just didn't realize I was going to get what I was looking for last night. And we all need validation. It doesn't matter whether how old you are, where you're at in life, everybody needs validation in knowing what they're doing is the right direction or they're, you know, making the right moves, however you want to look at it. And last night while I was live, get out of there. Why are you being difficult with me? Jeez. Quit being difficult. Sorry, I'm arguing with my diamonds here. <laughs> they don't want to listen to me. Get in their jar. Fine, fall out. <laughs> Sorry, squirrel. <laughs> One of these days, I swear, if I could learn how to edit a counter, so how many times I squirrel in a video, I think that would be kind of interesting to do. Anyway, back to what I'm trying to say here. So last night while I was live, someone, one of my YouTube creator friends had popped on. And this is someone that I have been wanting to speak with for some time. 3607. Sorry guys, squirrel. I need to make sure I've got the right number happening here. I am using my new unicorn diamond painting tray that I got from my 3D creations. I will link their Etsy shop down below in the description box. Loving it, I love bigger trays. So anyway, no more squirrels here. Squirrels, go for a nap, please. Let me get through one video without bothering me. Please, brain, work with me. Okay, great, glad we worked that out. Okay, the squirrels have gone to sleep. Hopefully, fingers crossed. So I known him, like I, I met this creator friend of mine and he's in the diamond painting community. And he's kind of on, I believe, the same kind of journey that I'm on with doing YouTube and everything else. It feels like he's on the same kind of self-discovery journey. As I've mentioned to you guys before in the past, I've been on a 10-year healing journey and self-discovery blah, blah, blah. Where'd my wax go? There's my wax. Hello, wax. There you are. So I haven't actually had a full cup of coffee yet. Squirrel. <laughs> a good old coffee. Coffee is my friend. I actually didn't get much sleep last night, so the squirrels are probably going to be a little wild today. So I originally met this creator friend and knew him as diamond painting with a drag queen. He has since changed his YouTube channel name. I can't pronounce it. I'm not going to even try to. I think it's Unica. Anyway, I'm going to have his channel linked down below in the description box. Make sure you go and check him out. I'm actually going to link some videos in this here soon. So you guys can definitely see. But anyway, back to what I was trying to say. So Unica came into... Anyway, I'm going to call him Unica. Unica came into my live last night. And right away, of course, I see that he's in there. And I instantly squirreled. Oh, you're here, Queenie. Like, I call him Queenie. Queenie, you're here. I need to speak to you. So he was actually on live to himself at the same time. So he actually ended his live... So he could jump into my live because I said I wanted to speak to him. I didn't mean like right then and there and now, but usually, you know what? When someone says they want to talk to you, people want to know right away. So he came into my live and I had told him that I used to have a really, really bad makeup addiction. Like I was addicted to buying makeup. Like I'm talking like, oh, it's almost shameful how much money like probably thousands between Sephora, 
uh, what's that other one? See, I can't even think of it right now. Alta, Sephora, Alta, and then actual beauty websites like, you know, uh, anyway, it doesn't matter. I've, I've spent thousands and I'm ashamed. I, it is what it is. I, come on, I have an addictive personality. I can't help it. I am who I am. Don't judge me. <laughs> so I have sold a lot of my makeup collection and I still have some, I, I decided that I was still going to hang on to a bunch. Well, it's sitting there collecting dust right now. And I'm like, you know what? I watched Unica's video where he was doing his makeup because he wants to go down this path of what his, his dream has always been. And actually, this really ties into what today's topic is for Time Out Thursday. And I watched where he did a video where he was doing his makeup to show us what his dream and his passion is and his dream and his passion is to be a drag queen and you know what i mad respect that mad respect that and i mean you guys really need to go check unica out he's following his dream and when he did his makeup and shared that part of himself with us in a video i know that's not easy to do it was it was no different than when i went and did my sharing my son's story, Xavier's story and story time Sunday, which I will link up there somewhere. So, oh, the squirrels are waking up. I lost my train of thought. <laughs> anyway, he came into my live in the makeup. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, stay in place, drills, please. Would sure help I didn't put my hand onto the adhesive, eh? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Squirrel. So when I told him in my live, I said, look, at I have all this makeup here still. I have one palette from Jeffree Star still, which is blood sugar. And I have some other, you know, Ofra highlighters, bronzers, blushes. And a lot of this is brand new or used maybe once. So I'm like, you want to take this journey and follow your dream of becoming a drag queen well I want to help you I want to help you go after this dream and I want to give you all this makeup like you can have it I'm going to ship it to you I'm going to have to ship it in monthly installments so basically like you know how you can get like boxy charm or try beauty or ipsy that's basically what Unica is going to be getting from me every month he's going to get a little package from me every month that's going to contain makeup because I can only ship so much at a time you know, he's in the States, I'm in Canada, so I have to, you know, do a little bit at a time. Anyway, no more squirrels. So I let him know this, and then I was continuing with my life, doing my thing, pick the winners, congratulations again. And then I was done my live, and I started cleaning up my area, and da-da-da. And I guess at this time, Unica had gone to... Do a live unica queenie he, he's just my he's my queenie so queenie did a live which he went live on his channel which i was not aware i did not know because i i went off of youtube after my live to go and do hashtag mom life so and then a little bit after that i went onto my facebook and i seen that queenie had messaged me because i needed his mailing address to send this stuff to him and he told me to go and watch this video he did. Okay. Okay. I did that. I did exactly that. I went on back onto YouTube and I went and watched this video, which I'm going to link right here. I, I'm going to try to remember to put that in the cards. I'll be doing the editing out as soon as I'm done filming this. So, Please pause and go watch that and then come back to my video. And the only reason why I'm saying that is because I need you guys to understand or go watch it after this. You know what? You do you, honey boo boo. I'll do me sweet pea. But in order to understand where I'm coming from, you got to watch that video. All right. Anyway. Squirrel. <laughs> 
So I went and I watched this, you know, and I was planning on going and filming today's video still. Like I still had to film Time Out Thursday. So I went and I watched this video. And by the time I was done watching this 13 minutes of emotion and rawness, I was literally a blubbering mess. Like tears are pouring down my face and I'm just like, oh my, you know, like, and my husband's like, what is going on? Mr. Addiction's like, what is up? Who pissed you off or who upset you? I said, no, no, no. These are tears of joy. He's like, well, what do you mean? And so I, and I'm going to explain to you guys how I explained it to Mr. Addiction. In this video, Queenie, I know he was sitting there hoping I was going to jump on, but unfortunately I didn't. And he was talking and he just kept saying thank you and thank you. And he wasn't saying thank you necessarily for the fact that I'm sending him this makeup. I, what he, and I know he's going to watch this today, so please comment down below if I am right or wrong, Queenie, on this topic. He was thanking me because I heard him. He did another, he did a live. He actually went live a few times yesterday. And of course I could, I missed all three of them. That Murphy's Law, you know, I missed all three of his lives, but I went and I watched the replay. And in his replay, in, like when I was, I was watching the replay while I was working on this diamond painting, he was talking about conquering fear and facing self-doubt and following his dream and his self-discovery and the fact that he wants to live his dream of being a drag queen and whether he's doing Selena, who, by the way, I love, love Selena. Whoever it is, he just wants to follow his dream. And that is what I heard in his life is he wants, he's on the same path that I'm on. And that is healing from past hurts and betrayals and being mistreated and trying to figure out who you are. We're going to get into that a little bit more. I have a feeling today is going to be a long one. So I hope you guys are in for the long haul here. <laughs> so he's, you know, this is why I wanted to give him this makeup, but I actually had commented on his makeup video saying we need to I need to talk to you because I want it was in that moment I wanted to give this makeup to him and then it's kind of funny how fate works because I didn't hear from him or maybe he did and I just haven't seen the reply I don't know anyway how it worked is he, what brought him into my live last night I truly believe everything happens for a reason you guys all know I'm a witch I'm very, very spiritual, and I do believe everything happens for a reason. Even if there's no rhyme or reason at the time, everything happens for a reason. And the universe brought him into my live last night so this could happen. And the reason why I say that is because I have been having some self-doubt myself, wondering if doing YouTube was the right decision. You know, is YouTube the right path for me? Like, am I on the right path? Am I doing, making the right choices? You know, and I've actually asked the universe. I talk to the universe a lot. People call it praying or they call it God. I call it talking to the universe. And I'm talking to the universe saying, I need a sign. Like what, am I, am I on the right path? Is this the right decision that I've made by laying my shit out bare? You know, for the world, I don't know who's going to watch my videos. I don't know who's going to see this. And I mean, literally, I am laying my heart out on the table and I'm telling my story, my life's journey. And, you know, I didn't know if I was making the right choice. And within two days of me talking to the universe, last night happened. And when I watched, the reason why I was a blubbering mess was one line that Queenie said in his video is, Sherry, when you go to bed tonight, please know that you have made a difference. That was the line right there that just brought me to my knees. And that was my sign. Because I have been having self-doubt and I have been having fear within myself. You know, we all struggle with that battle in us, you know, of self-doubt and fear. And, you know, people can tell you to the cows come home. No, you're do you made the right decision. You're great. You're doing awesome. 
It's a matter of whether you believe that in yourself or not. You can have people tell you all kinds of things. It's until you feel it and believe it in your own heart of hearts. Do you know, like, you know, and I, it's taken me a long time. Like this has been a long 10 years, a full decade of self-discovery. And I can relate to Queenie and people who have struggled with the self-discovery and da, 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 right? I've only just started speaking my truths and speaking what's on my mind. And yeah, I will admit over the last little while, I've had self-doubt of, and fear, internal fear of, did I make the right decision? And last night, Queenie, my heart, you are Vibe Tribe, you are my people, all of you. Your words in your comments, they, you guys have touched my soul. Even the people who have disliked my videos, I personally don't give a crap if you like or dislike my videos. I am who I am and I am not going to be everybody's cup of tea and I am okay with that. You do you, honey boo boo. I'm going to do me, sweet pea. You know, and people want to dislike my videos? Go ahead. That's fine. That is your choice. That is your story. But you still had to come over onto my channel to give me those dislikes. So thank you very much for doing that. I appreciate that. You guys are not, those dislikes don't affect me in any way. If any negative comments come in, either myself or my moderators will take them down because this channel is about positivity, kindness, respect, and support. We don't need no negativity all up in our vibe tribe. That ain't gonna happen. Not, it's not gonna happen on my watch. So if people want to leave rude, negative comments, go hard because I have a few moderators and we will make sure that those negative comments go away. We ain't got time for that. So when Queenie said that I've made a difference, that was my validation right there. That was the sign that I needed that I asked the universe for. And for me, it's not about looking for clout or wanting. It's not about that. For me, it was I seen in his eyes that he wants to follow this passion. And this has been his dream. Well, Queenie, you go, girl. You take it and you run with it. And you do you, honey boo boo. You do this. You do it. Because I watched his video Oh my God, when he was in singing and he was impersonating Selena and the way he was dancing around the floor. Oh, I'll try to link that one up here too from his channel. You can see the passion in him. You can see this is what he wants. And makeup is not cheap, you guys. Like I'm telling you, it is not cheap. That shit be expensive. Trust me, I got the debt. I have had the debt to know. Oof, we'll talk about that another time. Woo but I'm thinking to myself, you know, drag queens are all about makeup. Like, I mean, I actually learned how to do makeup from drag queens on YouTube. Thank you very much. Them queens, they know how to do makeup. Woo! Let me tell you. So anyway, moving on. Maybe one day I will do a makeup video or let you guys see me with makeup on. I'm not saying I'm perfect at it, but I ain't bad. I am bad for a 40 year old woman over here. Give me a break, cut me some slack now. I am 40. <laughs> so it is my honor and it is so much humbling to give him this makeup. And I know I could see it in his eyes in this video that I unfortunately missed that as you know I mean I don't know he he said thank you a countless amount of times and Queenie you're welcome it is my pleasure to help you follow your dream and I believe in you I be, I seen it 
I seen your passion. And that is why I want to give you these items. It is, that's what, that's what I am trying to do by bringing Vibe Tribe to YouTube. And I don't know if other YouTubers have Vibe Tribe out here, but I'm in the diamond painting community. And that's why I'm bringing Vibe Tribe to the diamond painting community. Because yeah, there's been some upset and yeah, there's been some drama and there'd been some bullshit in the community. And yeah, I'm new, you know, but yeah, there's been some bullshit and I'm not about drama. I don't want drama. Leave the drama for the llamas. <laughs> like, do you know what I mean here? I don't want it. I don't need it. And I truly believe the people that bring drama or cause drama are people who are actually looking for attention because they are hurting within themselves and they have self-doubt and they have fears and they drama llamas need to cause chaos and drama with other people in order to make themselves feel better about themselves and that's something that I've learned over the last 10 years of my healing journey I don't like drama llamas drama llamas bye bye goodbye go away see you later Adiosa. I don't need that. And that's why I am trying to do the whole vibe tribe and bring positivity. And there are so many amazing, wonderful creators in our community. And I am honored and blessed to feel and be a part of this community. I have seen so much kindness and so much go out in this community like with diamond art club when they sent out that email with diamond painted by donnie stitcherista uh mrs coffee and rachel ray i was like you go girls you guys earn that you earn that recognition those channels they've put time and effort into their channels and they deserve that recognition so congratulations ladies you guys deserved that. I was like, yes, booyah. And Diamond Art Club, way to go. Thank you for recognizing the creators on YouTube who have put time and effort into their channels. You know, now that I've been a creator for almost two months, I understand the lengths that it takes to do YouTube, to do videos, you know, and I bet you every, all four of those women who got their recognition from Diamond Art Club have probably had self-doubt and they have had fear within themselves, but they conquered it and they continued on. You've got, it's, sometimes it's so hard to face your self-doubt, to conquer fear. You know, that little inner voice that, the, what I call the shadow self, and shadow self is the, the part of you that you don't want the world to see. So you hide it by putting on a mask, let's say, say to speak. We're putting on a mask and covering up who we really are. And we don't want people to see that maybe we're weak. We don't, people, society in a whole has pretty much, like, I don't understand it. Like, I mean, maybe that's why another reason why I've done YouTube is because I needed my faith brought back from humanity because I'll tell you guys, my, where my, where my, where my diamonds go? Squirrel? <laughs> I'm working on 3607. Where is 36? Oh, Murphy, look right in front of your face. Jeez. Oh, man, oh, man. Squirrel? <laughs> But society, especially with social media and the way society, from when, even when I was growing up, and I mean, my teens was in the 90s. We didn't have cell phones or any of that, right? There was still self-doubt and fear. But in, now, in today's day and age, self-doubt and fear is like an epidemic, I swear. And what it is, is everybody is worried and concerned of how they're going to come across, you know, like when you post something on 
Facebook or you put a picture up on Instagram or are you <clears throat> the best <laughs> when you get those rant and rave pages and people are out there taking pictures of people's wrongdoings and posting them on social media. It's like, it's like paparazzi for the regular folk. You know what I mean? Like, seriously, like I'll be at Walmart and I'll be like saying to, to Mr. Addiction, well, we'll make sure that you put that cart in the cart trolley because you don't know if there's going to be a drama llama, drama llama wanting to take a picture because you left your cart by a car and didn't put it in the cart trolley. Like seriously, people like, so it's pretty sad that you worry about shit like that and I can't handle, you know, it is what it is. And by me starting this channel and coming out to the world and sharing my, my story and my past, is me facing my self-doubt and conquering my fear. And I wish more people would do that. And I'm not saying you got to start a channel. Like I've gotten messages from people saying, wow, thank you for being you. You're making me realize it's okay to be myself and it's okay to be squirrely and it's okay to be this and that. And yeah, it is. Face your, sad, your shadow self. Face that side of yourself that you don't want the world to see and accept it for what it is. Nobody is perfect. There is no such thing as the perfect human being, the perfect life. Everybody is going to have wrinkles. Everybody is going to have hiccups. We're going to fall. We're going to crash and burn. And that's okay. It's okay to not be perfect. It's okay to not fit in the cookie cutter mold of what society thinks you should be. Like since when is it not okay just to be who you are? And I know what that feels like because my whole life I've been different from the normal because I'm a witch. I believe in a different form of spirituality. And there's actually a lot of us out there. There really is, if you look, you know, and So I can relate to people like Queenie and other people who don't necessarily feel like they fit in, like the misfits. And I don't know why it, it you know, it's, we're not, we're not the misfits. Seriously. The other, the sheeple are. And you know what sheeple are? People who try to fit into that cookie cutter image of what you feel is keeping up with the Joneses and the perfect life. Those to me are the misfits, not us. The ones who are actually just being ourselves and living our dreams no matter what anybody says or thinks. I don't give a shit. To be honest with you, I really truly don't care what other people think of me. I'm going to continue being me and doing what I do. And if people don't like it, oh well, bye. Don't let the door hit you where the good Lord split you. You know, like, I love that saying. I love that saying. And I think I heard that from Mrs. Coffee. But, yeah, I've stolen it and taken it. And, oh, well, deal with it. Deal with it. <laughs> you know, and I know Mrs. Coffee ain't going to care that I said that. It's just like, I don't care if people say, you do you, honey boo boo. I'm going to do me, sweet pea. Like, I don't care why people care about shit like that. Who cares if we say expressions or sayings that other people say it's okay it's okay it's just fine right like mrs coffee if she watches this she's probably gonna be laughing her ass off right now because i did that and i have learned so much about myself and humanity over the six weeks or whatever it is that i've been doing youtube that i've been a creator and I really want to thank everybody in this community and those who have helped me to continue this journey of self-discovery and this path that I'm on. And Queenie, I want you, yes you, I know you're going to watch this, I know you're watching this, and I know you're listening, okay? So let's chat here for a minute. You and me, just me and you and whoever else is listening. I want you to go to bed tonight 
and know that you have made a difference. You have helped me to know that I am on the right path. You were my sign that I was asking the universe for. And for that, I thank you. From the bottom of my itty bitty heart, I thank you. We're always gonna have self-doubt and fear within us. It's, it's normal, it's, it's called being human. It's just a matter of how are you going to react to it? How are you going to face that self-doubt and fear? Are you going to cower and put your head in the sand? Are you going to be a sheeple and do what everybody else wants? Or are you going to march to the beat of your own drum and be a free spirit and just be who you are? It's your decision and your choice. Sorry, guys. Squirrel! My cats are fighting but over here and I'm looking at them. <laughs> They're literally sitting. <laughs> I want to see if I can get this on camera for you guys to see. Argh, why won't it? Won't let me flip it over. Oh, too late. They just, they stopped. But they were literally, sorry, squirrel. That was a big one. But life is about choices. And when you have self-doubt and you have inner fears, it's up to you what you're going to do with it. It's up to you if you are going to face it and say to hell with it and follow your dreams or whatever it is that you want to do in life are you going to fall in line and suit with the rest of the of the world and be a sheeple or are you going to put your head in the sand and just not face life only you can answer that question you know, I know mine has been answered and I know I am so blessed and I am so eternally grateful for the path that I've been on in this life. Yeah, I've had some heartache. Yeah, I, I've been through a lot, you know, maybe a lot. I've been through... A lot more than some people and I've been through a lot less than some people I don't look at my life as any harder any worse or any better off than anyone else everybody's path and everybody's journey is going to be different I don't compare myself to others I don't see the point in that it's just time that I wish more people would face their shadow self and deal with those internal fears and self-doubt. And that's what I've been doing. And that's why I did this time out Thursday. Because even though I've been on my 10-year healing journey, I still have self-doubt and internal fears. But I'm conquering them. I mean, if you would have told me 10 years ago, that I would be doing a YouTube channel and doing what I'm doing now, I would have looked at you and said, shut the front door. Get out of here. Yeah, that ain't going to happen like ever. But I'm facing my self-doubt and I'm conquering my fears by doing this, by laying my shit out bare. And my God, does it feel good. This to me has been so th more therapeutic than going to any therapist in my life chatting with the people that I've been chatting with and meeting the vibe building this vibe tribe has been more self gratifying therapeutic and humbling all in one and I have never been this happy in my life than I have been over the last few months. And I thank Diamond Painting for it because if it wasn't for Diamond Painting, 
I wouldn't have met any of you because I wouldn't have started a YouTube channel. Even when I was a makeup junkie, I there's no way I could do makeup videos, you know. And to those who do, awesome on you. My daughter is one of them. She has her own YouTube channel. And, you know, and she... I'm hoping one day she will get back to doing it. Whew. Okay, sorry about that, guys. Doctor's office called and I forgot to put my phone on. Do not disturb or do not disturb. Doctor's office called and I guess apparently I need to go see the doctor next Friday. Okay, cool. Moving on. What was probably a second for you guys has been about 40 minutes for me. So where I was in the middle of my speech, I don't know. But yeah, it is what it is, you guys. Facing self-doubt and conquering fear. Everybody has that battle. I don't care who you are or how much confidence you have. Everybody has self-doubt and fear. And by facing it and being able to speak your truths, no matter what it is you have to say, and not pretending to be something you're not because you want to satisfy and please everybody else is the most rewarding feeling in the entire world. I, I don't even know. I don't even know what I'm thinking or saying, squirrel. <laughs> so, Queenie, like I said earlier, thank you. Thank you so much. And to all of you who are watching my videos, are subscribed to my channel, and are following along on this journey that I'm on, thank you. You guys just have made so much of a difference in my world in this short amount of time. And, you know, like I said, it was Mother's Day of 2009 when I took that leap of faith and began my journey of healing. And that's what I'm gonna talk about on Storytime Sunday. And just to let you guys know, I have followed from yesterday's video when I talked about doing my first vlog of when me and Mr. Addiction go to Jasper this weekend. Yes, I will be filming our Jasper adventures and uploading that probably to my channel sometime next week. I've never actually done a vlog before and turned it into a video. So I'm pretty excited for this because it's going to be something new and different. But I am definitely going to do that. If you are in my Facebook group or following me on Instagram, keep your eyes out. Because I was talking with Mr. Addiction. And, or you can comment down in the comments, but we're going to, we're going to put a twist on this little adventure that we're going on this weekend. We're going to do a couple's Q and A where you guys can ask us questions and we're going to answer your questions on this trip that we're taking. I mean, it's a 40 minute drive, but sometimes it can be a little bit longer because of wildlife on the road or whatnot. We are going on Saturday. It is tourist season, so it could be a little bit busy. Don't know. So the drive could be a little bit longer. Plus then we got the drive home. So I'm going to post this in my Facebook group and on my Instagram. But if you have any questions that you would like to ask myself and or Mr. Addiction, please feel free. I think it's going to make it fun and interesting. I'm not saying we're going to answer every question, but we will definitely try because I'll write them down before I leave. Because, yeah, today is Thursday and we are going to Jasper Saturday afternoon. And it's just like, I can't do a lot of walking because of my back, but it's more or less just for the drive. 
and go to a few sightseeing spots to share Jasper with you guys in the Rocky Mountains. It's going to be so much fun. I'm very much looking forward to filming this adventure that we're going on. And you never know, this might become a regular thing on my channel. Who knows? We'll see how it goes and see what, you know, I'm not very good at doing editing or any of that. I do a bit of editing. It's nothing fancy schmancy. My son offered to help us do this vlog video. He is very good at editing. It's his passion. My son is actually talking about going to film school in Vancouver after he's done high school, booyah, because at one point he was actually talking about dropping out of school. And I'm like, oh man, I'm gonna have to fight this kid to stay in school. I got my daughter to graduate. Now I need to get my sons to graduate. Now my son has life goals because yeah, he is an amazing editor. I will actually link my son's channel down below too. He is turning 15. He's not a diamond painter. He's going to be doing diamond painting because he's got a diamond painting coming so we can have family diamond painting night. But I will link my son's channel down below as well as my daughter's. I'm really hoping that my daughter will get back into doing her channel, but we'll see. Maybe she will, but I'll link both their channels down below. Be sure to go check them out. Let them know that Mama Addiction sent you over. <laughs> They'll know who you're talking about. You know, because I want my children to not have... Every parent wants their child to not have self-doubt and fear. We always want better for our children than what we had for ourselves. Right? Right. Okay, I'm glad we agree on that. And even if you're not a parent and you have nieces or nephews, you always want better than what you had. And I don't want my children to have to go through what I went through. So I've raised my children to be who you are. Accept yourself for who you are. Don't worry about what the crowd says, thinks, or does. And I don't know if that's been a blessing or a curse because I'll tell you, even my kids tell me where to go sometimes. I'm like, okay, I know I've raised you to speak your mind, but come on now, I'm still your mama. <laughs> you know, and it's just like this morning, my son had a little bit of a teen -tude, as I like to call it, because he's turning 15. And then my other son, he figured because it was his birthday today, he should have gotten to stay home from school. Uh-uh, sorry, honey. Mm -mm. Get your butt out the door. They both had Tina Tudes today. Oh, tell you, Tina Tude. I don't know what's worse, raising a teenage girl or boys. I don't know. What do you guys think? If you've raised teenage girls and you've raised teenage boys, because I tell you, there's quite a difference between the two. But that's a topic for another day. That'll be more of a funny kind of video. But I have raised, I'm raising my children to not conform to what society says you need to be. And to just be who you are and accept yourself for who you are. I don't want my children to have to have self-doubt and fears. You know, even if you're going against the grain and you're standing up for something you believe in, even if it goes against what everybody else says. If you believe in it and you feel it to be right, then you go for it. You run with it and you run hard. And that's what I'm saying to Queenie. You got your dream of do being a drag queen and going far with it, then do it. Go with it. Run. Follow your dream. No more self-doubt. No more fear. And when fear comes into you or self-doubt comes into you, you just look at it and you say, you know what? Not today. Uh-uh. Shut up. Because I am not going to let you doubt and you fear live in my head no more. You've been there long enough and I'm kicking you out. And that's what I'm, and not only am I preaching it, this is what I'm trying to practice as well. You know how they say, you can talk the talk, but are you going to walk the walk? And right now, yeah, I'm talking the talk, but I'm also walking the walk. And I'm facing self-doubt and I'm facing fear by putting myself out there. Like I suffer with 
social anxiety disorder. I suffer with panic attacks and OCD and A, B, C, D, E, F, G, you know, like whatever, label it. And you know what? I don't even know if I have those things. I, if I do, I do. If I, I'm not a doctor. I'm not a psychiatrist. You know, because I don't want people to think, well, maybe I don't have illnesses. It's just fear and self-doubt. No, don't take anything. I'm not a doctor and I can't diagnose shit. But ever since I've started this journey, everybody around me in my family and in my inner circle is noticing a change in me, a real change in me. You know, I'm no longer just saying what I think people want to hear. I'm speaking my truths with kindness and respect. And I'm just, I've, I've taken the mask off. I have no more mask on. What you see is what you get. What you guys see in my videos, this is who I am. Hi, my name is Sherry Murphy. Very nice to meet you. I have insecurities, fears, and self-doubt, but I'm not no longer going to let them run me and be who let let them define who I am. I'm going to kick it to the curb. I'm going to take my head out of the sand, and I'm going to start living life because you know what? I love life and I love living. It is such a beautiful thing to experience life, even hurt, pain, sorrow, sadness, joy, love, happiness. You can't have all good and positive. You have to go through the negative and you have to go through the bad things. That's who's going to define who you are. And everything is a choice. And even if we make bad choices, that's okay. It's okay to make mistakes. It's okay to have wrinkles. It's okay to not be okay. As long as you pick yourself back up, dust yourself off, and take, put one foot in front of the other. So on that note, you guys, I think this video has been long enough. It's probably going to be a good hour. I very much enjoy creating content. I very much enjoy speaking my mind and sharing my thoughts, my squirrely, squirrely ways, but that's just who I am. And some of you love it and accept it, and I thank you for that. And I'm not everybody's cup of tea, and that's okay, because not everybody is my cup of tea. So, on that note, we're going to end today's video. If you like today's video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. It really helps me out. Be sure to check out all those channels down below. I'm sure my children would love the support and it will help to grow their confidence. Even if, if you're not, if you're not, that's not your kind of content. You may have children who would enjoy their content. You know, I try to tell my son to keep it clean, but he is a teenager. So there is swearing in it. Trust me, as a mother, it's not the greatest thing, but he's being who he is, and they're words. They're just words, and he's self-expressing. Okay, moving on. Same with my daughter. She's talked about wanting to fire her channel back up with her doing her makeup journey. I'm sure she would love and appreciate the support. I know I love her and support her very much on her journey. It's not easy putting yourself out there. So I hope everybody has a wonderful, fabulous day today. I know I'm going to. It is my son's 13th birthday. My family is coming to town. They're going to be here in a few hours, which I'm very much looking forward to. I get to spend time with my little grandson. Yay. Oh, I love that little boy. He's like the apple of my eye. And I will definitely maybe film a little bit of footage of today's adventures, birthday adventures, and I will invite you guys in to my home. We'll see how my family feels about it. It might just be a montage of photos. Who knows? So we'll go from there. I love you guys so very much. Please know that all of you are making the biggest difference in my world and in my life and I cannot thank you enough. So I hope everybody has a wonderful Thursday. Be safe, stay positive, live blessed, 
And until tomorrow's video, bye.